So soon, welcome to my channel. I'm Ginger Lema, and today we have a speed build for my Real to Sims series, and we are building the 657 Boulevard. If you don't know, that's the uh, house of a new show on Netflix. And right on the first episode, when I saw the house, I was like, I need to build this in The Sims. <laughs> but first, let me just tell you that if my voice sounds a little bit weird, it's because I just woke up just to uh, record the voiceover. It's really, really early. But last night I was just like, this took so long to edit. And last night I was just so tired, I couldn't do a voiceover. So I went to bed for a couple of hours and now I woke up to record this. So yeah, if my voice is a little bit weird, that's why, because I just got out of bed. <laughs> I also have my cat grooming himself uh, on my desk. I tried to kick him out like twice already, but he always comes back. So, and, and now he's looking at me. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, we are building today the Watcher's house. Um, if you know the show, you know this is a real case, like from real life. This actually happened. Um, I'm not building the real house, I'm building the house from the show. Because it was just amazing for me. Uh, I will have a reference picture on the bottom left corner, uh, so you can always see uh, the build. I will have that picture probably when I'm building the exterior, so it's the first like 10 minutes of the video, I think. Um, but yeah, this took forever to build and this took forever to edit because I have so many hours of recording. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting ride, so <laughs> I hope you stick around and Right now I'm building the shell of the house. I think I'm almost done with the roofing. I think there's some details on the top that we are still going to do. Um, but yeah, I'm figuring, uh, I'm trying to figure out like the back of the house. There's also a reference pic that I found for the, for the back. I just used for the shape. So I didn't use for the pool area or anything. Uh, just for the shape of the actual house. So yeah, the house is the shape of the same shape of the show, but inside it has nothing to do with it. So inside I just took my liberties and I just built a house because it was hard to build a base game only um, and furnish everything with base game only because I have almost every pack that we have available for the game and so building with just base game was really hard for me not the building like the building was really easy the furnishing was a nightmare honestly <laughs> i never thought it would be this hard i think also because the house is so big uh, that was the problem i think i think if it's like a starter home uh, or i don't know i have also um, a new base game only industrial build on my gallery. I can uh, put a picture here, I think. If you want to see it, you can go to my gallery and download it at Ginger Lemma Sims. Uh, but yeah, that house was so fun to build and it was so easy to furnish, you know. But this one, I think maybe because of its size, um, it was really hard to know what to do um, with this space. I don't know, when we get inside I will tell you a little bit more about that. The window situa situation was also interesting because when I saw the house and I was thinking about building it uh, here, I was like, yeah, I have the perfect windows for this, I have the perfect uh, something for this, you know? And then when I decided to do it uh, base game only, uh, that went out of the window, <laughs> literally. Like, um, yeah, I could use only base game items. So the, the struggle part, I don't think that I included in the video where I'm trying to figure out what windows to use. But then when I did figure out, um, I just placed them everywhere. As you can see the, in the reference picture, the house has a lot of windows, so I tried 
to keep that in mind when I was doing the window part and I also use a lot of individual windows and put like two or three together so they look like one and yeah then another thing that I wanted to mention I completely forgot if you know this build or the series and you also and really like the house like me um, you might notice that it's the other way around so it's inverted like the garage is on the right side of the house including for the reference picture because I turned it around um, and in the show the garage is on the left side um, so that was because I wanted the entrance of the house with the stairs to line up with uh, the entrance of the lot. Uh, I don't know if you can see it now, probably not, uh, but you'll see it in a little while. That the front of the lot has like two uh, post lights, uh, like small uh, lights on the front, uh, two of them, and I was like, oh my gosh, this was so, this would be so perfect to line up like the entrance with the stairs to these two lights. So, yeah, I did that, and for that, I inverted the house, the entire house, and I'm really smart because. Um, now I also inverted the reference picture for you to see um, you can see like in real time like um, the same house you know so that's why I inverted the reference picture but when I was building I didn't <laughs> so I was just looking at the, the original picture and in my mind like inverting it you know and then I was just yeah, Ginger, you are so smart. <laughs> I could have just inverted it. It would be so, so much easier. But it's okay because it was not that hard. I think just the part of the backyard and the garage corner, it has a little bit of a weird corner there, as you can see on the reference picture. And that part I was trying to figure out. Um, but I, I think I just gave up. Uh, you don't have that corner uh, in the Sims, so that's okay. I think the house looks like this one. Uh, I would like to have like the the wallpaper being more um, run down, you know, uh, like in the picture. But I think I did pretty well with it. And now we are working a little bit uh, at the back of the house. Uh, because I didn't mention yet, but I'm sure you already noticed it. Uh, we are building on a hill, so I wanted, I don't know, like, uh, you can see in the show, like, the stairs, the two, um, the two staircases leading to the front of the house. And I wanted to incorporate that because that for me was one of the biggest things about the house and for that here we had to build it on a hill. So the first part of the video is me trying to figure out like the terrain and uh, now with every part of the build we need to think about that part as well so for the garage part um like the house is on a foundation and then around the garage i just i raised the terrain like around the garage door you know so we wouldn't have like foundation for the garage uh, yeah, we will be back with the outside of the house at the end of the video. I just, I needed a break, you know, so I decided to go for the inside for a little bit and the inside was a ride because as you can see, we have a lot of space. I wanted this house to be a suburban classic house, so I didn't want like a super open plan. I wanted a lot of columns and... Um, I don't know, I wanted, even with arches, I still wanted to have the wall part, you know? So we divided the rooms with walls and then for some of them we keep it open with arches. I could have used my, my open door tutorial, I didn't remember that, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but that would be, um, that would have been a good idea, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we are now in the kitchen and I wanted to do something different for the kitchen and maybe I wasted my time honestly because the kitchen took a while 
uh, to build just because of this little bit of finding what I wanted so that I could have uh, my fridge next to like a like a pantry space you know so yeah uh, this was a lot of time of the build um, I like the final results I do I don't know if it was worth it <laughs> um, but yeah I did it anyway uh, you get experience with this kind of thing so uh, it was an experiment you know and now I'm just trying to figure out how to include the the columns that i was just telling you about i tried a half wall but i didn't really like it so i just replaced it with a full wall and then i think we'll start to furnish like the the clutter and everything i really liked like the the clutter part of the kitchen but at the end i kind of i removed a lot of it because um, with the rest of the house being a little bit emptier and I left some spaces uh, for the for you to furnish for your sims specifically so we have all the main furniture but if you want to decorate for your sims specifically you can because this house um, was a little bit emptier than what I usually build um, not the kitchen so the kitchen was the first room that I built so I have a lot of clutter in the kitchen and I had pans and soda cans and I I tried to fill it up you know and then I regret it and so I I deleted some of the items like the fruitcake uh, the fruitcake is a very like lived in like I'm living here uh, clutter and I didn't want that at the end of the build so I removed it yeah but just a little bit of clutter uh, everything else looks the same so don't worry and yeah I put some more things on the wall I really feel that kitchen uh, like I usually do <laughs> uh, then I build an entire living room here on this side of the house but I decided that I didn't like it like at all and so I moved the living room to the big space on the right uh, next to the garage and yeah uh, the living room was a challenge uh, you know what the first floor was a challenge because when we go to the second floor it's everything happens so fast like I was building like a pro <laughs> I don't know it was just really really fast you'll see even in the video you can see like I'm just putting items down like no doubts uh, and no uncertainty uh, about anything like I'm just putting things down and for the downstairs that did not happen at all so yeah I had a little bit of trouble uh, doing this especially the living room part because it was so big I didn't know what to put here honestly with just base game I ended up using uh, an old friend <laughs> an old trick with the cabinet to uh, make a TV stand a TV unit uh, like right now I don't need it with like a dream home decorator and other options that we already have in game but I remember back in the day uh, that was a must in any house like even not um, even after base game so I had a lot of expansions and it's pretty recent when we have like good TV units so I always used the cabinets uh, not these ones I used some from other packs but I still use the same trick you know uh, so yeah, I ended up doing that for um, for this space. I had the fireplace in the corner there and I also did like that uh, reading nook on the back of the space. I don't know, I, I had no idea what I wanted. So here I'm just uh, doing the dining room and this one I was not happy about. Like now that I look at it, I think it's it's nice. It's um, it's like a formal dining room, but in the beginning I was like, oh my gosh, so much space wasted, so much space like with nothing on it. Um, but at the same time, that was kind of normal for these kind of houses, so that was not too bad. Now that I look at it like in the video, you know, but when I was building it, 
Um, Individual is really fast, but when I was building it, I was not happy. I was trying to figure out what to put in and how to make it look like a complete space. I don't know. Uh, then for the tiny space, not tiny, like the, <laughs> the smaller space uh, next to the living room, like when you enter the house, if you go to your right, you have a big door. If you go through there, you go to this space and then you have access to the living room. Um, so this space has a grand piano, it has the garage door and it has the chess table and that was it, like nothing else. But still, I like the space. I really like the platform. Um, and the columns and the half wall to go from this space to the living room. I really like like the, the stone wall because we have stone wall and stone um, foundation on the outside of the house. So I thought it would be nice to have it on some parts of the house inside. So we have like an accent wall in the kitchen and now we have uh, some stone wall here and foundation is also uh, stone. I also changed the, the floor uh, beneath the fireplace to stone. So yeah, I think it's more fitting to the house and I ended up really liking the living room except for the part that it has like an empty space uh, where your sims can go through, you know, it has, I don't know, I think, I think it's okay, like it's normal, but I'm not used to it in my builds, but I know uh, for this kind of build, it's probably for the best. And with all of these diagonals and with these weird corners, like it was not easy to have like a functional floor plan. And I think I did pretty good on that part. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Then for the study, the study is actually one of my favorite rooms. I don't know why it's so tiny. It has nothing in it, but I think it's really cute. I don't know, I like the colors. I like the furniture, I like the vibe, I don't know, I, I like the big doors that go inside and then you have like this tiny office but it breeds power, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, okay? Remember that I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, so please have mercy. <laughs> this was also uh, a detail that I really like to do for this house so we'll have like a tiny wardrobe kind of thing uh right at the entrance of the house and yeah i really liked doing that the entrance is still very simple we have like a uh this coat thing we have some curtains we'll have like a table with uh i think some flowers on top and then i did that tiny wardrobe thing i think it looks really really good and then for the hallway part we'll have just a rug and a, a table and on the right side next to the stairs we'll have like a bookcase so it's a really really simple uh, space but i don't know i really like it i think just because of the wardrobe um with all the wood tones i don't know i just i really like this transition between the entrance of the house and the backyard uh, I don't know, it's just, it's really cute. I also really like the doors that I used uh, to connect to the rooms. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this part. And I don't know if next we'll go to the bathroom. I guess so, because we don't have anything else downstairs. Uh, the garage is not actually in the video. I will tell you why um, in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this bathroom was... Um, like kind of the guest bathroom so it's a half bathroom it doesn't have any a shower um, or a bathtub so we have a lot of towels for people to use we have a laundry basket for no reason because there's no shower but maybe to put the towels <laughs> sometimes it's necessary okay and then I think we'll just go for the upstairs and I'll try to figure out like the floor plan. Um, it was not easy, but it was not that hard. So I thought it would be way worse than it was. Um, I cut some of it uh, from the video because I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. So this was not the first 
time that I tried to do the floor plan, I think. Uh, or maybe this was the first and then I changed something. No, this is the final one, yes. So I changed before. And I deleted everything because we had some weird corners. And I just... Uh, because I wanted the master bedroom to be where the kids room is. So... Yeah, that was a whole thing because then I wanted like the master bathroom and we had some weird corners. It was a mess, so I decided to just delete everything and start again. And when I started again, this just, I don't know, it was just natural, I guess, on the second time. <laughs> natural on the second time. Uh, and this floor plan really worked, so we have uh, twin girls. And this is their room, so in my mind uh, we had twin girls, one of them likes a bunk bed, the other one doesn't, so yeah, we have um, different setups for both of the girls. Then we have like a desk for them to do their homework and it has some books and um, some other accessories and then we have like a computer on the other desk. So yeah, it was a really cute room, I really enjoyed um, making it. And then for the toddler room, we have a toddler boy. And this room was actually a surprise for me because I don't think I ever used this color scheme for a toddler room. Um, I definitely used this wallpaper, these curtains, like I love this, but not like the, the color scheme of the entire room. like like the blue, the really strong blue with the green and things don't match exactly but I love that and usually I don't um, so yeah, I was really happy with the toddler room as well then for the family bathroom we'll have like the party we have like the big uh, bathtub and shower combo and we have a big sink space we have like a laundry basket uh, we have some clean laundry. I think it's a really cute bathroom. Uh, it's not very different from the other family bathroom that I usually do. I think the color scheme and everything, it's really similar. And after this, uh, we are going for the master bedroom. The master bedroom was not hard. Um, because I just, I don't know, first of all, I never remember that I have this wallpaper in my game and I actually really like it. Uh, this bed was the first thing that I chose, so I wanted something simple for them, like with cream, um, with a cream and brown color scheme, but nothing like too strong. And I think I got it. And then we have like a tiny sitting area and we have the, the we have the dresser and we have some perfumes and the mirror. I don't know. I think it's as you can see we have still a lot of empty space, but I think it works for this room. Um I think it's a really fancy but classic um, master bedroom. In the master bathroom was another surprise in terms of color scheme because I don't think I ever uh, used those colors for a bathroom before and I absolutely loved it. I think it's such a good bathroom and yeah I was really happy about it and it also goes with the room so yeah, it was really fun. As I said, like the second floor, as you can see, it's so much easier for me. I'm just placing items and moving on. I don't know, it was just... It was really, really fast to, to build this part. The guest room is really simple, so there's not much to say about it. Uh, it's a little bit darker than the master uh, bedroom, and I think that's pretty much it. And then the bathroom is also really simple, so I don't think... I think I cut it um, halfway through the bathroom, but yeah, then I just decorated a little bit. And now we are going for the recreation room, it's so cute, it has like all the toys for the toddler and the kids. Um, I think this is a really really fun room, uh, maybe when they are older they can transform this into a gym or like a games room with ping pong that we don't have in base game, but that's okay. 
and yeah we have the easel i think that's the only thing for adults here um but yeah i think that's fine so this was a really fun room i really enjoyed building it and now we are going for my favorite part of the video where i totally lost my mind <laughs> so i was trying to do this pathway with the stones two hours later as you can see, I didn't really remember that we were building on a hill. And so I decided to download the tool mod. And this mod makes me insane, completely insane. If you have watched my builds before, you know I'm not a big fan of the tool mods. Um, but yeah, I decided to keep trying and to be strong. <laughs> and try to complete the pathway with those tiny mailboxes but that we used as a rock and so i did it like in part so i was doing little by little and then i was doing something else and then i got back to it it was not fun for me <laughs> I did not really enjoy it, but I wanted to complete this, I wanted to look nice. Some of them look really weird and really like crooked, so if you want when you download this build you can just delete all the tiny rocks and put something else or just nothing, like just dirt there. Um, but yeah, I was so frustrated at this point, I just wanted to finish honestly and the tool mod is also the reason why my video is incomplete so um you'll see at the end of the video that i'm just i wanted to put a table beneath another table and so i was using the elevate tool uh to do that uh on our balcony at the backyard in the backyard and i clicked on so this works with numbers you know with like measures and so i clicked on seven that is my key to finish the video and i didn't record anything else after that um we didn't have we didn't lose much it was um just finishing the backyard and also uh furnishing the garage so the first screenshots that i have at the end of the video uh, will be of those two things so that you can see what it was supposed to be at the end of the video uh, and then we'll have the screenshots of the rest of the house but yeah it's really simple you didn't miss much but still it was all tool mods fault so yeah i was really annoyed when i found out about that when i was editing last night maybe that was why i just gave up on the voiceover yesterday as well because i was like are you kidding me i lost like two of my two of my rooms no i was so upset it was so late i just i gave up so yeah we finished the pool area and the backyard is really simple as well and now we are going for the the backyard um table and this is where the, it happened so you'll see on the first screenshot we didn't add much we added uh some details but nothing special and the garage is also um simple with two cars with a woodworking table and some fitness equipment and yeah you have the screenshots of the rest of the house i hope you enjoyed this build if you did please give it a like and comment what you thought and subscribe if you are not already i will see you guys in the next one happy swimming big big